Welcome to Liquid Rubber's Instructional Video Library. Today we're going to show you how to prepare inside and outside corners with Liquid Rubber Seam Tape. Here is a list of things you need. Before you start, identify the area you plan to bridge with the seam tape. Next, make sure the application area is clean and dry. The seam tape won't stick properly to dirty, wet, or flaking surfaces, so be sure to remove any loose debris, wash away all visible dirt and dust, and dry the area before you start. Use 4-inch or 6-inch liquid rubber seam tape for corner applications. First, cut a piece of seam tape to create a square 4 to 6 inches in length. Next, fold the tape in half, the release liner always facing inward, and then in half again, creating a smaller square. Then cut the loose corners to create a circle. Remove half of the release liner and fold the tape in half, the sticky side facing out, creating a half circle. Then fold the remaining half into a quarter, again the sticky side facing out. Starting with the point, place the folded tape into the corner and depress onto the flat surface. Pull the liner away one quarter at a time, applying evenly across the surface of the corner. Create a fold in the same tape that will later be covered by additional seam tape and waterproof sealant. Cover all adjoining seams with liquid rubber seam tape. When possible, use a roller to apply pressure and activate the adhesive bond between the surface and the tape. Keep in mind that more pressure will lead to greater adhesion. Coat the seam tape with liquid rubber waterproof sealant. Allow proper drying time between coats. Liquid rubber waterproof sealant will turn from brown to black when fully dry. Thanks for watching and please visit liquidrubber.ca for more information.